Hi, Andrew here at SHOT 2018 with Brian from Bushnell. Brian, Bushnell. Yep. Uh, he's got a lot of new products for 2018 that we we'll want to cover. Let's start with some rifle optics. Okay. So we have an entire new line of AR optics rifle scopes. All of them are BDC, everything from 22 long rifle to your 223, 308, 65 Creedmoor, 3 and a blackout, and 224 Valkyrie this year. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, that's now, a lot. So in these bullet drop compensators, yep. reticles, uh, what loads are they calibrated for and can we get some numbers? Like if, if say, I've got some crazy hand load sure. that's got a bizarre velocity sure. and an odd bullet weight, yep. weird BC, can I send you bullet weight, velocity, yep. BC, and you tell me where my... So in two weeks you'll be able to download the Bushnell Ballistics app. Yeah. And you can pick a family of scopes, a reticle, and then input your own ballistics, and it'll show you where that, where your bullet hits on that BBC nice. reticle. So, so I don't have to email you guys and hey, no. please help me out. You can. There's an, <laughs> there's an app for yep. it to show yep. us each of these things. There will be. Let's hit up some of the, the features. Cool. Nice. Yep. So grab one off the shelf here. This is a three to twelve, built for your two two three. Um, they all come with a throw lever here, which you can fold down, and it comes in two sizes: short and long, so you can put whatever you want on it. Um, all exposed turrets, all mill turrets, um, all of them have parallax adjustment above the two to seven, um, and that's about it. Really nice scope for a couple hundred bucks. A couple of hundred is 260 MSRP prices. Our one to four non-illuminated is probably the lowest level, and it's probably 170 bucks, 180 wow. bucks. Um, up to the four and a half to 18, we also have a first focal plane illuminated for around 240 bucks that is really really nice what's the magnification range on that one to four and you one can get four? it in 300 blackout or 223 nice yep can i take a look through it yes sir okay so we've got you're not going to see on there but maybe we can get some images of it the sort of typical not quite horseshoe, almost almost yep. full circle yep. with the center post yep. and the stadia lines along it. Really similar to what you see in some of your earlier products as well as competitors Correct. with the um, vertical post, horizontal lines, yep. and those those horizontal lines, like, I can't quite tell, looks like they get narrower as they go yes. down, so they correspond right. to, say, 18 inches. Yeah, so, absolutely. So it's not just a bullet drop compensator, it's also a ranging reticle? Yes. Okay. We have two new red dot sights in the AR Optics line. This is a First Strike 2.0. It's a reflex sight. It's a, a new take on an old First Strike reflex sight that we had a years back. And this is a new take on the TRS-25, which is our most popular red dot ever. This is the TRS-26. Okay. Yep. So what's different? What's different? Um, on the TRS-26, we went to a push button operation. So you have up, down, push button instead of the big dial. Um, the dot is going to be much, much better. So the LED is better, which means battery life is immensely better. Battery life went from 800 hours to over 5,000 hours. Okay. Um, you're also going to get a much better, crisper dot when you look through the red dot itself. Um, so standard operation where push either up or down to turn yep. on. Push up or down to turn on, and then you hold the down button for about three seconds, and it'll turn off. Okay. When I turn it back on. Is it going to go back to the same brightness level that I had it on the yes. last time? Yes. It stays the same intensity. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That uh, I don't want to name any other names, but a certain other really big optic manufacturer had a site for a long time that I think recently they fixed that. But for a long time, that was the reason I stayed away from yep. them, went to other sites, sure. because you turn it on and push, 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 right. and now it's where I need it right. to be. No, thank you for including no that. Problem. Anything else new on that one? Uh, nope, that is it for that one. First Strike 2.0, you get the same features. The old one had automatic off, you couldn't adjust the brightness, you couldn't turn it on or off. Um, again, we went to push button, simple operation. Okay. This one's really cool. The battery holder pops out the side and it's just held in place by that little magnet there. Okay. So, toolless battery removal, better dot, brighter dot, push button operation, and we also adjusted the mount to fit an aim point base. So if you have a high rise block or okay. anything that you like that's aim point, this will fit the same base. So the obvious question here is that if the battery is only held in with a magnet, is it going to fall out when I drop the rifle on the ground or 
is it going to let water in? So all of them are fully waterproof. We also have done extensive recoil testing and we do drop testing for packaging. Um, it takes eight pounds of force to lift that little battery door. Okay. So we have had nothing, nothing we've done has caused it to either fall open or fall out. Because actually it's pretty tight once it's in there. It, it clicks gotcha. in. That's just a little handle that's magnet. Oh, okay, I see. So it's it's kind of a friction. Thing. Yes, yes, it okay. clicks in. Okay. That's just your little handle there with the magnet. Okay, gotcha. And it's sitting on top of a laser? This one's sitting on top of a laser that is unfortunately mounted backwards. And I have <laughs> I cannot find the tool to flip it. So the laser the laser can also be seen here. Yep, so you push a button. This is a red laser. We've got green options also, just a little high rise awesome. block that makes your red dot uh, co witness site. Awesome. If, you, if you need a riser on there anyway, why not do something with that right. space? Yep. That's yeah, pretty cool. Thank you. Very neat. Thank you for your time. Yep. Thanks for showing these no to problem. us. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.